this is Joe from Personas, and in this video, I'm going to show you two new features that we've added in Studio One version 5.4. That's correct. Version 5.4 is here. How do you know? Because that's the name of my song. See? It messes with my head that it's written out like that. Anyway, 5.4. If you own Studio One version 5, 5.4 is a free upgrade. And of course, if you're a Persona Sphere member, it's a free upgrade for you as well. So we've added a handful of new features, and I'm going to show you two of them today. The first is called Multi-Format Export. This is something people were asking for, and it's just a nice time saver and just a nice convenience to have. So you're working on a song, you finish it, it's amazing, you want to send it to yourself or someone else. You come up to Song and Export Mix Down, or Command E to bring up that window. If you're familiar with this window, you'll notice it's now a little bit different. Uh, the right hand side is the same, the top left side is the same. We can call this 5.4 doggy. Shout out to Rick Nockvi. Uh, and you can see now, uh, in the past, you'd have a pull down menu, a drop down menu that allows you to choose your format. Now you can choose multiple formats, which is very cool. So let's say I want to do a full resolution 24 bit 44 1 mix down to maybe send off to mastering, but I also want a 320K MP3 with constant bit rate. And just for fun, let's throw a, uh, an AAF file and even a FLAC file. Why not? And as soon as I hit OK, guess what? It just does it for you. It's like having your own little assistant that's going to do all your mix downs for you. Like, like imagine you were an engineer 30 years ago. You didn't have a software that would pop up and do all this for you. You literally had to either do it yourself or you had an uh, assistant come in and spend however long it would take bouncing, rendering down all the different versions that you needed to deliver to the client. So this is a new feature. should get a lot of use out of it if you do a lot of exporting, which you should because you're making lots of songs, right? All right, cool. The second new feature I want to show you is called Chord Preview. If you haven't used the chord track before, this might push you over the top to at least try it out on your next song. So as you can see, I've got the chord track mapped out on this song. Now the, the features of the chord track are, A, you can see the chords, but B, it'll you can tell different tracks to follow the chord track. So if you're still writing the song, you want to change this from an A minor to an A major for some reason, the tracks that are following the chord track will follow along. Very cool, very handy. Also, in case you didn't know, you can drag a MIDI track that you just played onto the chord track and it will pull the chords out and create your chord track for you. You can also create the chord track uh, by dragging an audio file, like a guitar track. I didn't know that till recently, because, you know, I'm a Neanderthal. I'm no Gregor, but um, it's very cool. But now, if you wanted to record and see what the chords are, you could do this. You could have, you know, scrolling turned on and follow along here, but if you're across the room, it's hard to see, uh, and maybe you're not sure exactly where you are, and it'd be easy if you could have some sort of, I don't know, like a teleprompter to show you what chord is coming up next. Your wish is our command. Uh, if you right-click on the chord track and click Chord Display, or if you come to the View menu, you'll see a new option called Chord Display, and whoosh, this thing shows up. Check this out. Now, it is resizable like most windows in Studio One, and this allows us to see in the the lighter colored one is the current chord, and the blue one is the chord that's coming next. And check this out. I'm going to hit play so you can see it in action. I love a good, you know, printed out or handwritten chart. They're wonderful. You can actually do a lot of that in Studio One. That's not the point of this video. However, occasionally you just, the person's there playing and they're like, hey, what are the chords again? You could write it all out. You could do up a chart. Or if you already have the chord track, just bring this up on your screen and have them look at it. Or if you want to get fancy, set up a separate screen TV or something that's over there by the person playing and they can just follow along here. Very, very cool. But it gets even better. This one is really cool. So this input chord section, as long as you have a MIDI device plugged in, you don't even need a MIDI track enabled and monitoring. Just having a MIDI controller plugged in and sending MIDI data, check out what happens. <laughs> you can play in uh, any number of chords and it'll tell you what you're playing. Now, obviously, you didn't hear any chords because I don't have an instrument pulled up. So you could just literally say, what is it when you play a C major chord and you add a D in there? That's right. It's a C add nine. Isn't that cool? Um, I love that. This was actually when I was a high school kid, I joined a band. They already had a guitar player, two guitar players. 
and they said, well, can you play keyboard? And I'd taken piano lessons, so I said, sure, but I didn't know the first thing about how to play, like you gave me a chord chart, how to play it on piano. So I figured I got to learn how to play chords on piano. This is exactly what I had. I had an old Yamaha keyboard, cheap little Yamaha keyboard, but it had this thing where when I played chords, the little screen there would show this exact thing. So you could go... Ah, of course, that's a D minor 13, 11. Uh, and you could find out, oh, that's what makes it a seven chord. That's what makes it minor. That's what makes it an add nine chord. And very quickly, I became a better keyboard player uh, because of this type of feature. So now it's built into Studio One. So you can have this part of your normal template where it's set up and in the corner where it's reading the chord track when you're playing back songs and when you're trying to figure out new chords. It's just there listening to your MIDI, waiting to give you information. And the editor, that's just when you're in your MIDI editor editing different notes. Maybe you're clicking notes in. It'll show you what note is or what chord is being played in the MIDI editor as well. All right, that's it for those new features that I want to show you. There are more. Gregor has a video about other new features. One of the biggest things with version 5.4 is M1 compatibility for Mac. So if you have a new Apple computer and you haven't had full compatibility with Studio One yet, that is one of the biggest improvements in in version 5.4. Hope you like this. Let me know which one of these is your favorite and how you plan to use it in the comments. Otherwise, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.